A lot of people get caught up on this first step of picking arrows. It's really not the hardest choice you have to make. What's better for your arrows? Veins or feathers? When I'm talking about plastic veins, I'm referring to the plastic fletchings used on most arrows today. Uh, they come in various shapes and sizes and brand names like plastic fletch and blazers. Um, if you buy arrows straight off the shelf, they're probably fletched with plastic veins. Um, they are cheaper to buy in bulk. Uh, it's easy for the shop to put them together and they do come uh, pre-made very often from the factory. You can also get more advanced performance veins such as the uh, spin wings or XS wings or early veins and so on. Uh, these are more personalized for the archer and they tend to be preferred by more serious competitive shooters. Feathers are, well, feathers. Uh, you can get real and artificial ones in different shapes and colors and sizes. So the burning question is, why would you pick feathers or veins? The rule of thumb is very simple. If you're using an elevated rest, then you can use feathers or veins. If you're shooting off the shelf, then you can only use feathers. The reason for this is because feathers are soft. When they make contact with the bow, the feathers will compress, allowing it to pass over the shelf without causing damage to the feathers or the shelf. Additionally, the flight of the arrow won't be as strongly affected. Veins, on the other hand, are not soft and they don't flex. The problem is twofold. While a feather will naturally come across the bow and compress, the vein will not. This will cause the vein to scrape against the riser and it will affect the flight of the arrow. Now shooting veins off the shelf is a common mistake and it is most commonly seen for people who buy the bows online and the most common combination is buying a Samic Sage off of Amazon and then buying cheap fiberglass arrows from eBay. If you're shooting off the shelf then you should be using feathers. If you're using a whisker biscuit you can still use feathers. What you can do to prevent wear and tear is to put a dab of glue on the leading edges and the tips. This will greatly extend the lifespan. If you have to choose between feathers and veins then I'd say go for the one you can more easily get. Uh, veins tend to be stocked in a greater variety of colours and they're easier to come by, but you may be able to get feathers fairly easily as well. As far as performance goes, this is more dependent on the size of the fletching. Larger fletchings, and often feathers are larger, uh, will correct the arrow sooner in flight. However, the larger profile also creates more drag, which affects velocity and performance over a larger distance. Fletchings with smaller profiles, and usually most veins are fairly small, uh, will take more time to correct in flight, but the smaller profile results in less drag, which means better performance over long distances. If you're a traditional archer or a recreational archer, then the softness and the appearance of feathers may be more appealing. But for a sport style target shooter, veins are the standard option. Uh, veins do get damaged, but generally they're much easier to get and are more widely available. And their designs often make them more appropriate for the kind of shooting that you'll be doing. Anyway, this is New Sensei. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you next time.